Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15 of the May League Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, middle of the month, we'll see how that goes. And today's problem is rather number. So I usually start this live, uh, and today a little bit slow because I'm a little bit tired. So, you know, if it's a little bit slow, just fast forward, skip ahead, whatever you need to do. Um, but for t today's problem is rather number. Which looks like it's going to be a very annoying problem. Given a string s, return of is a, uh, a rather number. I suspect this one is going to have a lot of. I'm going to have a lot of uh, wrong answers to be honest. But that's that's you know that's let's just take a look. Rather number can be you know. What are these optional things? Hmm. They don't even give you a test case. Oh, I guess they give you a couple here. But uh, okay. A decimal number and integer. Oh, okay. Alright. I guess if... Uh, I'm guessing also, obviously, I'm not going to just use the library. If, if you can just use the library, then it would make this a really silly problem. So definitely try to solve it without using Py... Or Use Python, but without using Python's like one liner or something like that. But um, mm, uh, okay, this is annoying. Uh, I know that I could use um, it's numeric, but obviously I'm just trying to uh, do it a little bit. It's digit. I don't consider it cheat just because. Uh, th that's just a shorthand for you know checking whether a, a character is a digit. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, okay, a decimal number. Okay, so if hmm. So if we already, if not signed, if signed and s of zero in plus or minus, then we return false. Otherwise, okay, let's write this a little bit differently. If this is here, if it is signed, then we just return false. If this is good, though, we'll just we'll return. Uh, is number of this recursively uh, this is true uh, if length of s is equal to zero return false I guess I should have done that first to be honest I don't think an empty string is a a thing though let me see well it has to have at least one character anyway so in our case that would mean that that is now good um, okay, a sign character, uh, the decimal number, okay, um, hmm. Okay, so as that count, greater than one, return force. Uh, assuming that this is already true, that means that this should at least have one, otherwise this is really bad. Um, yeah, if or x. If any, mm, now we, we have to take care of the ye stuff as well. Oh my, that is annoying. Okay, mm. so now hmm, ye following an integer. Okay, let's do the ye part first. Let's also lower it to lower. Is it lower or to lower? Hmm. I guess we'll see. <coughs> also return force. Um, otherwise, let's do the ye first. If ye is in s dot lower. Um, then 
again let's do return is number of the first part uh let's do s dot how do i split on that hmm. maybe something like that uh oh maybe just spread like this number exponent let's go to this if number and i think this is a self dot whatever so yeah let me fix that I'm just going a lot of cases, so I don't think there's anything interesting algorithmically. That's why I'm not talking that much, to be honest. Um, yeah, we already take care of the sign by at this point, so yeah. And uh, exponent true. Okay, maybe that's right. And then if this is still in S dot. Uh, if this is just an S, then number decimal or what's it called? Fraction maybe? I, f I forget what it's called. I'm, I'm really bad today. Uh, and then we do the same thing. Uh, are there other rules? At least one digit. Okay, so actually that handles far by one digit. A dot far by at least one digit. Okay. One of the five five, at least one digit five by dot. So it could be zero. Okay. Uh, or zero digits. Uh, at least one digit followed by dot followed by at least one digit. Okay. A dot followed by one digit. So either of these can be zero. So, so either length of number is equal to zero or this. And same thing, length of fraction is equal to zero or this. Um, they get all of them. Mm. I don't know. To be honest, there there is a lot a laundry list, right? So I don't know that this is going to be uh, right, but yeah. Otherwise, just return true. I don't know if this ever gets hit. To be honest, I don't think it should. Because otherwise, I don't know. Maybe not here. But uh, let's see. Point one. And there's a bunch of these. In the interest of time, I'm probably going to just run it and then YOLO a little bit. But definitely at home, I recommend obviously testing all the cases. Well, not all the, well, as many as you can. And think about the edge cases that may come from your code. Um, I'm a little tired, really tired actually. And I even just a little tired. Maybe not here. That's not great. Hmm. I thought this is only expected to got one. Oh, hmm. Wait. Oh, let's see. Whoops. Hmm. That's not great, but let's see. That means I maybe missed a case. Yeah, I missed a lot of stuff, really. Okay, so the third one is false. Period. Okay. Oh, um, because this has to have at least one of these are true. So, if they... uh, I guess it's just length of S is greater than one and this stuff. Okay. So that got a little bit better progressively. Uh, what's five? One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Did I not check for that? I thought I did. Oh, I, I, I was going to do it after this, but then I forgot. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I was going to, I had something. Okay. If any, but I think I just forgot for some reason. Uh, is, if this is not true. And x is not equal to y. Uh, 
for x and s then return force for the alphabets mm, but then now my fourth one is incorrect whoops what happened I want to do a point one. I write force, but it should be true, right? I think point one is force. I thought I factored that. So length s is greater than one. That's true. Um, and that means that one of these should be good, right? It's just one. Why would adding this change one? If this is if there's not a digit oh I period as well. Whoops. Um this is so obviously bad and awkward. But okay, so I have more goodies, but then also a few baddies. Uh let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. Negative zero point one. How how does that make it? Hmm. That's the first thing that I do. Oh, uh, but I, I don't do the ye stuff correctly now that I notice it. But but that's okay. Oh, because then now this is whatever again, so I have to remove the signs, but then I still have to remove it from the X portion. So, yeah, so I guess this is false. Um, let's do this first, I guess. If I do the signs. Uh, and here it could be, could be, but not the other one. Okay, so this looks good, but you know, how confident can you be when, you know, a minute ago you have so many wrong things? So let's try all the force ones as well. Um, I think maybe I do the ye ones incorrectly actually, do I? What is the ye? Okay, let's see. Okay, so I have one wrong that's four from the bottom. But I also have a lot of default things. Why is that thing? Uh that so I will true because this is hmm. Should I do the period first? How do I handle <clears throat> So we do the ye first and then we handle no no decimals on the on it has to be an integer. I think what I should have done and I didn't is um yeah, uh, write a decimal or an integer and then define these. I think I should have just defined it more uh naturally and stuff. All these kind of things that I did. Uh, what I mean by that is I, I if I were to do it again, I would have two functions, one for decimal and one for integer, and then just follow it through. Um, actually, let's do that again. Uh, I know that I'm already about, wow, 14 minutes into this problem. I guess it's just really annoying. So uh, so let's try again. Let me print this out again. Uh, I think I just, I'm a little bit rusty slash tired and try to rush it, but but there's no rushing it, so let's, let's get it. So, okay. So you have a, but you know, the way that, if you are able to kind of do it, then, you know, if you, because this is basically like a parser, and if you build a parser the way that you kind of think about it, then it could be uh, a lot clearer. Um, yeah. So that, let's get, let's start over a little bit. Sorry, it's a little bit slow, but I hope you were watching it on skip fast forward or whatever. But yeah, so now we just have is integer and is decimal, and okay. A rounded number is. So now we just have to kind of go through it uh, one by one. 
So a random number is a decimal or an integer. So, you know, if it's decimal s or is decimal, oh sorry, is integer is integer s, return true, uh, or uh, okay, or there's one y, and that's just. Yeah. Um, so there's one yi. So we do the count of yi's. Count yi is greater than one, and we turn false. Uh, we do a split on it. So uh, decimal. Mm, I think for decimal, I'm just going to uh, change that a little bit. So, yeah. If is integer s, return true, because an integer is a decimal. That's how I'm going to think about it. And then now we will just split um, first, second is equal to s dot split of e. And then we do. Um, the first part can be a decimal, and the second part has to be an integer. So, yeah. If is decimal first, and is integer second, uh, we turn true. And so, actually, that's pretty much it. Because uh, this is now a definition for an integer. Oh, uh, sorry, for a decimal. So, we actually just return this. Okay. And now a decimal can be these things. Uh, well, let's go with integer first because it seems easier. Um, so an integer can be a, contain a sign character. So if uh, okay, I mean that's fine. We we we'll just ignore it. So then we'll just skip the first character. Um, otherwise. Uh, it's one of the three as we did earlier, which is, uh, oh wait, what? Okay, so now after the first character, we just have to make sure that they're all digits. I don't know. I, I'm reading this at least one digit's a little bit awkward, but yeah. So now we turn all uh, x is digit. For or oops, for x in s, um, okay. And then now for decimal, there are three versions as we saw. So first, if s dot count of period is greater than one, we return false. Otherwise, otherwise we have first and second is equal to s dot spread of period. Um, so yeah, and we can actually just do this. Um, yeah, there are only three cases. So yeah, if length of first. Mm, uh, let's add this here as well. If length of S is equal to zero, we turn false. And then we also do it again after this. I guess just, yeah. And then here, now we go, hmm, how do I do this in a clean way? Eh, maybe I don't have to care about it. Let's just do it. If length of first is greater than, if is equal to zero, oh, eh, whatever. Let's just be exhaustive about it because I'm exhausted right now. So uh, this is the case. Then we return is integer of first and is integer of second, right? Otherwise, if length of first is greater than zero, that implies the length of second is zero, but that's fine. So then we just do integer of first. Otherwise, return is integer of second. Um, well, 
No, they they can both be zero, right? So yeah. Um, if length of first is equal to zero and length of second is equal to zero, then we return false. But otherwise, we do all these things. Yep. Let's give it a spin to my the new hardness. Uh, has some one time error. Fifty nine. Oh, whoops. Hopefully that's the typo and that's it. Oh no. Did I mess up something? Oh. Uh hmm. Well if there's no period, then this is good, but yeah. Um if this is not equal to one, then this is false. Because if there's no period and they're not in it, we already checked this there. Uh, hmm. That's true. Huh. You should already, hmm. So if this is not true, then yeah. If there's no G, then we just return this, I think. Alright, this is almost all good, except for this case, which is, let's see. 11? Man, let's just print it out. Yeah, okay, fine. This is very weird. So negative, hold on, let's see. Is that the one that I'm looking at? <coughs> yeah, that's the one that I've wrong, negative 0.9. Okay, why, why is that wrong? So, huh. It's because, hmm, that's really hard. Because it's not an integer because I have this force here. But, hmm. How do I want to address this then? Uh, this is a weird edge case because so basically what it's saying is that um negative point nine it tries to, it it does this and then this code it it finds the period so then this is the first part is negative but we don't do anything about the signs yet so okay maybe we just add that here um even though it's a little bit awkward because I think by the mm, no, that's not true. I I forgot about this part here, so so I was wrong on that. So yeah, I should have handled it. Mm. Though it's a little bit awkward. And I'm just gonna copy and paste. Okay, so now it all looks okay, I think. Yeah, so let's give it a submit. It's the code is not great, but uh, hopefully it's. Oh man. Hmm. Okay. I thought I test that, but. But then now, so what happened was that okay. And it checks that this is an integer, but. But the second part should not have a sign. Which I guess is technically true. They don't tell you to do an integer of it. It's just... All these digit thing is a little bit weird. Because they should just be more specific. Because you can have alphabet and that's clearly not good. But uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll do that what we said earlier. With... Mm, 
yeah and then there's just this one might have had my definition weird my eyes are cannot stay open so my apologies uh, and it's still wrong did i get the signs wrong oh it's this part as well okay that looks better but and i'm too tired to kind of come up with more test cases so that just give it a submit and hopefully you know second time's a charm and it, it's good uh yeah I'm, I'm not gonna lie like i said my code is not really the most pretty but it does basically just do what they tell you in a very structured way uh, i just spent a lot of time not doing it that way but as soon as i did i think you know it's just about transcribing it to code which at least conceptually is easier to understand uh, maybe i don't know uh, let me know what you think i'm a little tired right now so i think that's all i have um in terms of complexity we look at each character a fixed number of times um i, I know there's a lot of recursion but there's only a set number of if statements so um so each character is going to look at like you know a couple of passes and that's it so that means that it's going to be a linear time and we don't really i mean stuff like this aside which you know you know you can you can definitely do it without it. You could do it in a cleaner way, uh, in place or something. So yeah, so my code is probably gonna be linear space for reasons like that. But you can do better. You can do it in all of uh, one extra space uh, for that reason. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I have. Let me know what you think. I'm tired as heck. Uh, so I will see you tomorrow. Uh, bye bye. Stay good. Stay healthy and to good mental health. Take care.